Jasmine Porter was just days away from her 37th birthday in February 1996, and her little boy shared the same birthday. He was nearly five when a killer came calling and took the life of his pregnant mom. Gregory, you did it? Gregory Fleetwood is 66 years old now, and Bronx detectives say his DNA was left at Jasmine Porter's murder scene on February 5th, 1996, but he refuses to take responsibility. Did you do it? No. It turns out Fleetwood had strangled another woman in 1987 and went to prison for manslaughter. He got out in 1994. The fact that he got out and repeated and, you know, um, it, it's, it's a tragedy. When Jasmine Porter's neighbor went to do a wellness check on that day in February 1996, she found the mom's lifeless body and her little boy just days away from his fifth birthday trying to wipe the blood off his mother's face. You know, the bond between mother and son was, was huge. You know, he didn't leave aside. Derek Porter had to identify his sister's body and console her son, Jeremy. I picked him up and, and everything, and, you know, he talked to me, and, you know, person actually um, was going to strangle him, and, you know, he didn't. We sheltered him, you know. We, we you know, my mother took care of him, and uh, we didn't allow anybody to know where he was. Derek Porter still has a photo of Jasmine attending a birthday party with her son. Porter's sister spoke to us by phone. She uh, was a phenomenal singer, a professional singer. She was very outgoing and trusted a lot of people, and everybody was her friend. I told her everybody's not your friend. In recent years, Gregory Fleetwood was living on Laconia Avenue in the Bronx, just about five miles from where Jasmine Porter was killed. This business owner on the corner can't believe he was arrested. He was a nice guy, quiet guy, nice guy. Anytime uh, we needed something, if we had to go to the store, if we had to shovel snow in the front, I've never seen him with anybody as far as any friends. Early last year, the Bronx Homicide Squad received a tip about Jasmine Porter's case and decided to do a DNA check. Detective Robert Klein was lead investigator and took a photo with his team after Fleetwood's arrest. Detective Klein almost worked like it was his sister, you know. And he did, he did work for, for the family. That detective, I have tears in my eyes when I think about Detective Klein, what he did for our family. Jasmine Porter's son is now 31 years old, and he was quietly told about the arrest in his mother's case. He's a great young man, and, um, you know, that's a testament to my mom. Jasmine's mother died earlier this year, just months before this arrest was made. She raised her grandson upstate. The family said they helped Jeremy move beyond the tragedy. He's happy, they told us, about the arrest. Corian Thompson. Wow.